Take charge now of your breath. Choose to consciously breathe in, pausing at the top. Exhale out, pausing at the bottom. Slow inhale to fill. Complete exhale to empty. Take a few more rounds of breath here, bringing greater focus to lengthening your inhale and exhale further, smoothing your breath out, and inviting your breath into more spaces, into those sensations in your body. So we're lengthening it, we're smoothing it, and we're creating greater depth and access. Take a few more breaths here. Continuing to pause at the top and pause at the bottom. One more inhale, this time fill up even more, sipping in more. Exhale, sigh it all the way out. <sighs> release your arms down by your sides. Let your chin release towards chest. And then slowly turn your chin to the right, up towards the sky, down left and across your chest. Slowly take this next circle a couple more times. Nice and easy. Pausing the next time your chin is low and going the opposite direction. Just let your arms hang beside you, heavy, retracting your shoulders, helping create more space for your neck. The next time your chin is down by your chest, let it rest there. Interlace your hands at the base of your neck, sliding your pinky fingers up towards your occipital ridge, the base of your skull. Let your elbows draw down. As you inhale, press your head into your hands, lift your head and draw your elbows back. Exhale slowly, elbows forward, chin forward. Inhale, slow lift up, pressing head into hands. Exhale, slow back forward. Continue like this a few more times, just nice and easy. Continuing to feel the support of your chair. One more time. Stay up this next time and then slowly release your arms back down. Now scoot away from the back of your chair, lift your shoulders up and roll your shoulders down. Take that a few times. Keeping your shoulders relaxed again, slide your hands towards your knees. Inhale, take a lift of your chest, hold your chest up, your shoulders down, and then exhale, start to pull your belly button back, letting your upper body round a little bit. Just let it feel good, feeling that cat spine. Inhale, feel the lift of your chest up and forward. Exhale, your belly button drawing back, rounding back body. A couple more times. 
back and forth, feeling the difference, knowing we want to practice out of that rounded shape, creating that extension and that spinal strengthening. Next inhale, stay up nice and tall and release your arms again alongside of you. Next inhale, circle your arms all the way overhead until your palms meet. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, hands low. Inhaling. Exhaling. Close your eyes, feel yourself moving through space, being guided by your breath. The next time you reach up, stay up and just reach for opposite elbow overhead, making a picture frame around your head. Draw your belly in, ease your elbows back, and then just feel for a little bit of a stretch side to side here. Inhale, center, exhale to each side. Doing your best to keep your arms away from your head. They're framing your head side to side. Feel the gentle warming into the torso. Coming into center, feel what hand is on top and change out your grip. It might feel awkward, but you can find a different grip and then go side to side a few more times. Inhaling through center, exhale to each side. Inhale, return to center, open your arms nice and wide, and then give yourself a hug. One arm crosses over the other at your chest. Inhale, open it up and swap it out, the other arm. Inhale, open again. Exhale, close and hold this one and give yourself a massage. Just start to push and probe and feel with your fingertips into some of those tighter areas, those areas of sensation. Squeezing, pushing, probing. And again, noticing what arms on top. Inhale, open up. Exhale, cross the other arm over and begin to push and probe and massage again. Exploring. Inhale, open up again, and then exhale, take a side stretch over to the right, arms alongside chair, left arm is overhead, ease your left ribs back a bit, press into your feet, feel that solid connection. Inhale here, exhale, shift your arm in front of your face, inhale, float it high, exhale over, inhale up. Just a nice gentle circle here. Your right hand could also be resting on your chair seat as well, but be careful we don't hike the shoulder up. Bring a bend into the elbow. Now give it a pause and reverse. Circle through, let it feel good to move your arm in this way. Inhale, let's bring it back up tall, raise your right arm also. Exhale, find the goalpost position. Inhale, elbows back, chest is up. Exhale, elbows forward, feel the stretch into your back and the outside of your shoulders. Inhale to open, exhale to close. Again, open and close. Inhale, stay open. Exhale, start to turn from your waist up and bring your right hand outside your left thigh left hand to your chair seat. Press into your feet, lengthen up through your crown, take a big breath in. Exhale, start to twist back, engaging your low belly. 
Relax your shoulders. Inhale, puff your chest. Exhale, ease back with the mid ribs now. Inhaling. Exhale, upper ribs, armpit and shoulder, pull the belly in even more. Take a slow release, coming back into center. Reset, find neutral for a moment, bringing your palms before your heart center. Take this moment with your palms together, Anjali Mudra, to create further intention for your practice. So again, going beyond the imagining to truly manifesting and creating abundance in this moment to carry with you into your day and into your world. Inhale, fill it up. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Inhale, pressing palms together, reach straight up. Exhale. Big open up, arms to the side, palms meet. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swim your arms open. Inhaling. Exhale, let it feel good. Inhale. Exhale, close your eyes. Take it a few more times. The next time your palms are pressing together, reach them up and then hook your thumbs here and just wiggle your fingers around. Lengthen up more through the waist, press into your feet. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides. Inhale, raise your right arm up. Exhale, ease into your side stretch to the left. And again, your left arm can stay alongside the chair your hand can come to the chair seat, but just be careful we're not hiking the left shoulder. Ease the right ribs back, press into your feet more. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, sweep your arm in front of you. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, slow over. Inhale up. Feel yourself moving with ease. More ease, less effort. More ease, less force. Pause with your arm down low and then reverse it. Take it in the other direction. Real, real slowly feel that transition. Beautiful sense of finesse, finesse over force, ease over effort. Next inhale, let's bring it on up, add your left arm. Exhale, find the goal post. Inhale, lift up through the armpits and exhale, take a twist over to your right. Left hand at the outside of right thigh. And, and then your right hand to your chair seat. Inhale, press into your feet, solidify your grounding, lengthen up through your crown. Exhale, start to twist back with your low ribs leading the way, belly hugs in. Inhale, puff your chest. Exhale, twist back through mid ribs. Inhale again, press into your feet. Exhale, twist back even more, more, more. And then slowly release and return back into center, feeling neutral spine again, feeling a sense of invigoration into your midsection, a sense of detoxing from those twists. All right, friends, we're gonna prepare to stand up. So scoot yourself a touch more forward. Have your hands on your chair seat. Press down into your feet. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, slowly stand up. 
Inhale, slowly sit down, feel for the chair with your hands. And you can continue to feel for that chair or maybe you become more comfortable and your hands can come to your thighs. Slow exhale, we stand up. Inhale, sit back down. Keep your chest leading the way here. And you can check the chest with one hand on it. Exhale to stand. Inhale, slowly sit down. Maybe change out that hand on your chest. Slowly sitting. Exhale, standing, belly in, chest stays up. Just a few more times now. You've got this. One more time, we're going to sit. And now let's stay standing. Nice job. Okay. In our standing position, we're gonna work more on finding a chair position, an invisible chair this time. With your hands at your thighs, start to bend back into your knees, sit more weight into your heels. Now this can be a bar stool, certainly, an invisible bar stool, but feel some bend in your knees, more weight is in your heels to help protect your knees. Belly's in, chest is up. Now raise your arms up alongside your ears or bring your arms forward ahead of your shoulders. The, the higher you lift your arms, the more you're working strength into your back, into your postural muscles. Sit a little deeper into your invisible chair, inhale, and then exhale, slowly stand up, bring your arms by your sides. Inhale, we sit, raise your arms as high as you can. Exhale, stand. Inhale, sit, exhale, stand. When we sit, pretend there's a string attached to the tailbone pulling it down. And when we stand, the string is attached to the heart pulling it up. Inhale, sit, exhale, stand. Press into your feet to make it really solid into your back seat. Good job, a few more times. One more time, and then go ahead and stay standing. Nice job. Place your hands on your hips, or one hand if you would wish for the support of the chair. And we're just gonna take some yummy hip circles here. Give it a pause, and then circle your other way. and bring it back into center. Now we're gonna release our arms by our sides, just feel relaxed through the shoulders, and then start to move lightly side to side, your upper body, and start to bring your arms more into it, making contact with your front palm and your back knuckles side to side. Give yourself those love taps. And then coming back into center. Standing still in front of your chair. And again, if you wish support from your chair, please use it. Bring your right hand to your left shoulder. Inhale, raise your arms straight up. And then exhale, take a nice circle back through it. Inhale forward. Exhale back just three more times this way. Pause with your arm low and then rewind it. Go back and up and forward and down. Twice more. And then raise your arm up and reach up with your other hand and take a hold of your wrist. So you're just gonna really stretch into a yummy side stretch over to the right here. 
pressing down into your feet. Draw your left ribs back a bit. Hold it and breathe. So you want to feel that rooting from the hips down, the lengthening from the waist up. Take another breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, slowly rise up. Exhale, lower your arms down. Left hand to the front of right shoulder. Inhale, draw your arm forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Take your time. Feel your shoulders being relaxed away from your ears. You're moving through this ball and socket joint. Release your arm low and then reverse the motion. Twice more. Raise your arm back up. Inhale, float your left arm up. Take a hold of your right wrist, goes tall through center, and then a nice side stretch over to the left. Ease your right ribs back again, back a bit more. Feel the ease in your knees, the rooting into your feet, the lengthening up through your waist, and then the grounding down through your hips. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Next inhale, slowly rise up. Exhale, lower your arms down. Now take an interlacing at your low back. Squeeze your shoulders down. Lift your chest up a bit. Pull your knuckles down. Really open. Open across your chest here. Give it a couple breaths just like that. Purposefully bringing your shoulders back. Opening this area that likes to droop forward, right? And all we do and start to form the kyphosis in our upper back. So really open up your chest, take it in opposite direction. Continue like this, keeping your clasp or take your hands to your low back, root it down through the hips, just start to lift your chest up a little bit more. So same idea, just reversing that curve. Inhale and exhale. One more breath in. Exhale. Release your hands down and come to stand back in neutral. Aware that you're lengthening down through your tail and keeping your chest up. Now come to the right side of your chair. Okay, friends? And we're going to step on our right foot. We're just going to start to work now into our hips and our lower body. Go ahead and lift off your right heel. So we're standing on our left leg, lift off your right heel and then lower that heel down. Just consciously peel the foot off, peel and ease the foot back down. Rise to the ball and then roll back down. Try to feel each part of your foot. A little easier if you're in bare feet right now. Just rolling up and rolling down. Now we're going to lift the right thigh up and then tap those toes down. Lift up, tap down, up and down. Take that a few more times. Now standing on that left leg, keep your right knee up, open it to the side, bring it back forward, open it to the side. So feel this abduction and adduction, bringing it in and out. Now we're going to complete a circle, bring it out, ease it down a bit to circle it in, out, down, in. Feel this ball and socket joint. Give it a pause and circle the other way. Now let the leg dangle 
and reach it a little forward and back. Just let it feel like it's hanging and relaxing from the hip. All right, we've been working our warrior series. So now we're going to step that foot back, keep your left foot forward, reposition your chair maybe a little further up so you have it for support. Seal the pinky edge of your back right foot and lunge into your front left knee. Feel the lunge and then ease out of it. Bend back in and ease out. I'll show you from the side. So it's your left leg that's forward. You're bending in and you're easing out. Keep your crown over your tail. That back foot, your right foot, the pinky edge is planted. The foot is turned out. Couple more times, bend and extend. Bend and extend. Now hold the bend. Inhale, raise your right arm up. As you exhale, maybe start to hover your left arm and maybe your left arm lifts up as well. So you're in your full warrior position, warrior one. Pressing down into your feet with each exhale, lengthening up through your waist, all the way into the fingertips through each inhale. Feel for being a warrior right now in this moment. Take one more breath in. Exhale, find a goal post of your arms. Bring your elbows to tap. Inhale, open your elbows back up. And then exhale with support. Go ahead and step forward and ease out of that stretch. Okay, our foot that was just forward, that left foot, we're gonna go ahead and just place it on the edge of the chair. We're gonna catch a hamstring stretch with it. Okay, so now we're stepping on that outside right foot. Flex your foot. So if the chair seat is too high feeling for your stretch, maybe there's a leg of the chair or you keep your heel on the earth and just kind of press your hips back to get that stretch. So coordinate it so it works for you. We're maintaining a little baby bend in that leg that's on the chair. We're hinging forward, leading with the chest. So again, our spine is long versus rounded. Keep the chest open. Push your heel into the floor or chair and receive this stretch, really flex through the toes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in, own it, it's yours. Exhale completely. Now we're gonna ease up and we're gonna see about creating that figure four stretch standing, bringing our ankle to cross over our right thigh and sitting back. Now, alternatively, you know you can come into your chair for this one and cross your left ankle over your right thigh seated where we take the stretch quite often. But perhaps see what's available standing today, ankle over thigh, flexing the foot, and the standing leg that you're on, your right leg, you want to take more weight into that heel. Keep your chest up and breathe. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Keep pressing that left knee down. Exhale, flexing the foot, inhale, and exhale. Very slowly, ease yourself out, lower the leg down, and shake your legs out. Nice job with that series. Now we're going to find a back stretch here. So using the back of your chair or using your chair seat or any other surface that seems to be the right height for you, I'm just gonna even come over to the bed here. Walk your feet back and pull back through your hips like there's that last sue around your hips. Melt your chest, your ears lowering between your arms and breathe. Take 
Take one more breath in, let it feel good for you. Exhale, sigh your breath back out. All right, friends, changing sides, come around to the other side of your chair. So your, your inside leg, I'm mirroring you now, is your right leg, and you're gonna use your left leg. That's the leg we're gonna be playing with and working with here. So go ahead and just lift off the heel, and then slowly, each part of your foot, I want you to feel lower back down. Lift off the heel, come towards those tippy toes, and then lower the ball of the foot, the arch of the foot, and the heel. A few more times, just up, and down. You're putting your high heels on. And now we're going to lift through the center of the thigh, like there's a string attached, and then tap your toes down. So starting to work on balance here. Standing nice and strong into your right leg, keeping your chest up and the crown up. Tap the toes, lift the thigh. Now keep your thigh up, open the knee, and then bring the knee back forward. So before we take the circles, we're just opening and closing. Abduction and adduction. Good, now let's complete a circle. Reverse the circle. And allow your leg to just hover, dangle and sweep it a little forward and back. Nice work. Now this leg we're sweeping, we're gonna step it back. And we're gonna step the other foot more forward, that inside leg, bending into your knee, push into the pinky edge of your back foot. Feel with your left hand on your hip that you can help steer your hips. Your left hip a little forward, your right hip a little back to square hips, shoulders, crown is over tail. So again, showing you from the side, crown over tail, pushing forward through that right knee towards a 90 degree angle. And then we ease out of it and bend back in. Slow bend, slow extend, a little forward and back, focusing on the lower body. The upper body here is along for the ride. It's not moving separate of the low body. It's just the long for the ride. Bend in, ease out, really establishing strong grounding, strength in our lower body, our ankles, our femurs, our hips. Now stay bent this next time. Inhale, raise your left arm up. Exhale, start to hover your right hand above your chair. Maybe it lifts up also. Now again, feel super grounded in your low body. It's stationary and lengthening through your upper body. Feel crown over tail, press down into your feet. Be the warrior right here that you know you're capable of being. Feel like a warrior, be a warrior and believe in this moment to set the tone for strength that you'll bring forth into your next challenge. So we take our yoga out of our chair, right? And into our day. One more breath in. Exhale, start to bend your elbows, find your goal post. Inhale, and then exhale, tap your elbows. Inhale, open them. And then exhale slowly, hands to your hips or a hand to the chair. We step up and out of it and just kind of rock your hips out. Nice work. Find another back stretch. So again, you pick your surface, walk your feet back, pull back through the hips, 
Ears between your shoulders. And then while we're here this time, go ahead and just shift your shoulders back over your wrists. We're just gonna play a little bit here. We're gonna play a little bit with our shoulders over our wrists, spread into the hands, put a little micro bend in your elbows and just float one leg back behind you. Keep your belly strong and then tap those toes down and float the other leg back behind you, hip height and lower it down. Lift one leg again, pause, and bring your knee forward towards your belly button. Reach the leg back and lower it down. Lift the le other leg up. Exhale, draw your knee forward. Inhale, extend it away. Exhale, lower it down. One more time. Lift, bring it in, reach it back lower down, lift, bring it in, reach it back, lower down. Now what's going on in the upper body? Reach your right arm forward, lower it, and then left arm forward and lower it. One more time, the right, lower, and the left, lower. Walk yourself a touch more forward, towards your chair, and then slowly come to stand back up. We're going to ease yourself back down into our chair. So find your seat again in your chair. And we're gonna work with our alternate nostril breathing. It's gonna help bring a sense of balance into our body through our nervous system, just calming everything down. It's like the icing on the cake for our practice. Working with our right hand, so I'm not gonna mirror you. I'm gonna use my right hand also. Place your right thumb to your nostril, tuck the next two fingers down, and bring your right ring finger into your left nostril. So see that you can cut off airflow with gentle pressure of your right thumb into the right nostril and the ring finger into the left nostril. Inhale through the left nostril. Close it, exhale out the right. Right inhale. Close, left exhale. Left inhale, close, right exhale, right inhale, close, left exhale, left inhale, Close, right exhale. Right inhale. Close, left exhale. Left inhale. Close, right exhale. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Now inhale and exhale, just moving your fingers back and forth. Like you're playing a musical instrument, which is your nose. And then release your hand down. Feel my, my friends, yourself being here your presence. Now we're gonna very gently, slowly, utilize this newfound balance and stand back up out of our chair. Bring yourself back around to your left side of your chair. We have a couple things to finish up here. Left foot is either going to 
park itself on the chair or to the earth and you ease your hips back. Wherever you're at, keep your chest still up, extending versus rounding into your back body. Press down into that right heel that's on the chair. Feel that stretch in through the hamstring, the back side of the leg. Give it a few breaths here. Truly feel the stretch. It's such a good one. We really do tend to have tightness in the backs of our legs, backs of our knees, our hamstrings. So feel how you're receiving stretch, more space. Exhale completely. Inhale, ease up, step your foot down. Now we're gonna create that figure four, crossing left, right ankle over left thigh and sitting our hips back. So again, alternatively, this can be taken in our chair, crossing ankle over thigh, where we've all been before many times together. Otherwise, try it standing today. Letting your weight sit back into your left heel. Give a little pressure on that right inner thigh and keep your chest up. It's a great stretch. Take one more breath in. Exhale, maybe sit just a little deeper. And then inhale, ease yourself up and return back into your chair. Getting comfortable again into your seat. Coming back to our thoughts for our practice as shared from journey to the heart. Imagine what you want. What do you want? What do you want to create in your life? What situation do you want to live in? Describe the scenario, imagine it. We can often have what we want, but we rarely take the time to imagine it. And imagination is the first step toward creativity. What do you want? What would it look like, feel like, is what you're working so hard on what you really want? That relationship, that job, that home. If it is, then go for it. But if it's not, imagine and create something different. Begin with imagination. Imagine what you really want in your mind. And you've taken the first step already toward creating it. If you don't know what you want, that's okay too. Ask the universe for help. Ask God and the universe to bring you your highest good. Ask the universe to help you create exactly what you want and need. Trust the universe and you will be trusting an honorable and benevolent friend. Bring your palms together before your heart center. Bow in and thank yourself for taking this time to come to your practice, to work in, to create this abundance, this presence that you'll now take forth into your day. With thumbs before your third eye, acknowledging the light and energy you have, I have, we all have, and that we've shared together in our practice. Namaste, friends. And with your arms overhead, may you shine on. Thank you so much, my friends. You see my sweatshirt? It says shine, actually, on it, shine. Thank you for being here. Enjoy the rest of your week, your weekend, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Namaste, Karen. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks, Taru. Thanks, Ann. Namaste. Be well, you guys. Namaste. That was great. Thanks, Linda. Have a good weekend. Thank you. You too. Bye, Linda. Bye, Bye Ann. Hope to see you soon.
Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Take care, you guys.